So for our next job, Ember wants us to see if it's possible for us to create a hit new single by taking a song that is relatively unpopular and just blasting it all over the radio stations. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into here and there are eight different radio stations that we need to insert the song into. File 300 has the name of the song plus the uh, name of the artist. So in order to connect to each of these uh, radio stations, sorry, what's a little loud for me. Uh, in order to connect to each one of these radio stations, we have to dial in through a phone line. So file 301 has the eight phone numbers that we'll need in order to connect to each of those radio stations. So to do so, XA is going to grab file 301 and he's going to jump on over into like the phone bank here and is going to copy each one of these numbers into the dial register until we've hit 11 numbers. And we're going to do that using our, our favorite T looping trick. So we copy 11 into T because each, each number is 11 digits long. We'll copy those 11 numbers in until we've put in the full number. And then that will open up a bridge to one of the phone lines. So we'll take a look and see that's what XA is doing. So you can see right here, ignore the army. We'll talk about the army. But you can see right here the phone number that is currently dialing. So XA is currently dialing the phone number. And once that's done, you see a bridge has now opened up between this station and this one. So let's we'll talk about the army. XB is has grabbed the name of the song and the artist and has saved that in the X and T registers, then moved over into the phone bank here and then cloned itself seven times. So there's a total of eight of them, one for each one of these stations. Uh, and all of them now are sitting on the void M instruction. They're all waiting for a message to be sent to them. And that's exactly what's going to happen. XA, now that it knows that it has finished dialing a number, is going to send a message on the M register. It doesn't matter which one of these picks up the message. It's it's supposed to be random, whichever one will. And that's fine because they're all ex they're all in the exact same status. They all have the same instructions. They all have the same things in memory and they're all waiting for an instruction. So what will happen is XA is basically saying somebody go in there and take care of that radio station and sends a uh, sends a message on the M register. Uh, XB or one of its clones will void M, which basically just says, wait until there's something in M, clear it, and then continue on. Uh, so XA sends the message, somebody picks it up. It was XB zero and XB zero is going to jump into the radio station at the same time that XA copies minus one into dial, which basically hangs up the connection. XB can now go and modify uh, file 200 while XA gets started dialing the next station. So the way that XB is modifying it, uh, XB0, I should say, is first he's going to grab file 200 and the way they want it is every song on here to become the one they don't want you to just remove everything and then uh, put only that one song in there. So if there's six songs in the list, they want the song listed six times. If there are like in this one, uh, more than six songs, this looks like it's eight songs. They want it listed eight times instead. So what XB0 is going to do is it's going to copy the name of the song in and the artist in. And we're going to see, are there more songs that we need to replace? Uh, but that's going to erase our T register. Uh, and so if it's not done, we're just going to go back for a second, grab that again to put it back in our T register, and then we'll jump and we'll overwrite the next one. And we'll repeat that process going through and replacing each of them until we reach the end of the file. Then we don't need to reset the T register and XB0 can be done. And you can see right as soon as he's finished, XA has just finished dialing the next number. So he's sending a signal. Now it's going to be another random agent, XB1, who's going to jump in there and he's going to grab the 200. And that is exactly how it's going to progress through until uh, we dial the last one, at which point I, I missed it. Uh, XA is just going to jump back into here. He could just wipe the file. It doesn't matter. We just did not want to leave the 301 file in this bank here. So he could either link back and just end on it. Like if I if I uh, if I go here, I just link minus one. I could also do wipe. That would work just fine, too. Uh, the only other th interesting thing of note that I want to point out is this section right here. This is a shorthand that's listed in the magazine. Uh, let's say you want to write the same uh, bit of code 
multiple times, but you don't want to just write, you know, REPL overwrite seven times in order to do this. Uh, this is some shorthand. You can do at rep and then how many repetitions you want to do and then at end once you're done. And then when you hit play, it will substitute that in for you manually. So it, it's not actual shorthand in that it won't reduce your size. It'll still count against how many lines you have written here. Uh, but it is shorter for you as the writer to write that out. Um, I could have probably done this with the T register trick, uh, but it's such a minimal amount of cycles. I just wanted to kind of demonstrate that as well, that this functionality works. This, And there's also some functionality as well for like uh, adding incremental values in it. So like the first time you do it, it'll do one and then you could make it do it with two and three. I don't think I ever ended up using that, although I'm sure there were some opportunities to do so. So if you think of a good opportunity for it, go for it. Uh, but for now, I create my little army and then I just deploy them one by one to go clear out the stations, replace all the songs, and we're good to go. We'll let that run through. And now we can enjoy the, the hit new single, Musical Genius, that is, uh, what was it called again? Can't Stop Loving You? Can't Not Get Over You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And there you have it.